Hi guys, a quick giveaway to tell you about. If you head over to our Twitter at that's now underscore, make sure you follow us, like and retweet our pin post to be in with a chance of winning these Damon Heta darts. We'll pick the winner next Tuesday. And also at the same time, make sure you subscribe and comment on all the videos we'll be doing in Dortmund at the European Championship for a chance to win these Dave Chisnell darts. Good luck, guys. Uh, yeah, many congratulations. That must feel good into the latter stages of this tournament. Final day action. But first of all, what a battle that was against Daryl Gurney. Yeah, I think neither of, of us were playing our best, but um, just happy with the win, as you said. You know, I'm happy to get into the, the final day of this tournament. So make it to the last 16. I'm playing Michael or Ricardo next, uh, tomorrow. So I'm looking forward to that game, but yeah, happy with the win. Longest game of your career to date as well, having to manage the breaks and everything like that. Was that all new and how did you um, cope with that? Yeah, as you said, it was all new. You know, I never had a break and after five or ten legs. So I, and when after ten legs, it was five all, and we went backstage. And then we went when we went back up on the stage. It was like, okay, now it's five all, just best of nine until the rest. So it's like first win five legs, then you, you're through. So I think a different mindset went on uh, after that t first ten legs. Um, so I think that really helped me. But you know, as you said, it's all experience. You know, even if the breaks and everything in between the first, uh, the longest match I've played it yet. So um, I think it's good experience. We saw obviously Darrell wasn't happy with the, the wind up there, and you were agreeing yeah. with him as well. First of all, was it was it as bad as what Darrell was making out? And two, you seem to deal with it a lot better than he did. <laughs> yeah, it was bad. You know, I, I don't want to step on anyone's toes or anything, but it was bad. You know, especially the first couple of legs. You know, my darts normally like like this in the ball, and then it was like this, and everything in between. It's like, especially like it was on the tenth leg, I think. Daryl was on ninety six. He had trouble twenty, and the double eighteen was like, it's like, and he stepped back and he even looked at me. It's like, why is that like that in the board? You know, but he was dealing with it like he was, and I was just you know when he's annoyed, I want to be better. You know, I don't want to get as annoyed as he was, and uh, I think I handled it. I handled it better today, and then just happy with the win. Final day tomorrow. How do you approach this? Obviously, new territory, as we said earlier. How do you go about this? Because now the trophy is in sight. Yeah, <laughs> you talk about the trophy, but just look at the game at the game. <laughs> you know, of course, I got to win four more games for the trophy. But uh, as, you, as I said, first up, Michael Van Gogh and Ricardo Petrescu next game. It's going to be a tough task, you know, especially if it's Michael. You know, Ricardo as well. But um, I think Michael is different gravy at the moment. Um, just looking forward to it, you know, I never played Michael, I played Ricardo before, but I never played Michael, so I wanted to play him, and I wanted to see what it's like up there against my, the best in the world, Michael Van Gogh, and then, um, yeah, who knows. Yeah, many congratulations. Cheers, mate, thank you. you. Did you think that in your first year in the PDC you'd be in a TV quarterfinal? Never in a million years, you know, as you said, it's my first year on, on the PDC, and even to make the European Championship and to be in the quarterfinals, it, it, it was a dream, of course, but I never thought it would be reality but here we are and uh, just happy with the win today and i uh, really look forward to tomorrow you mentioned those breaks is it good to experience a tournament like this to prepare for things like the grand slam and the world championship just to get used to that format when i was in the car earlier this afternoon driving up here i told my manager as well you know it's, it's good to experience those breaks because in a world championship after the first set there's a break after the second set there's a break and it's good to experience those breaks before the world championship you know and it, it, i think it's good um, and I think I handled it well today, you know, every leg after the break, I think I played well. And it was in my head, you know, especially with those breaks, first time on, I wanted to see how I was coping with those breaks. And I think I handled it well and I, I played okay today. You mentioned there uh, your next match, it could be Michael Van Gogh or Ricardo Piotrecco. We saw yesterday with Ricardo against Ross Smith that the crowd really got on Ross's back. Is that something you'd be wary of if it was Ricardo Piotrecco? Well, yeah, of course. You know, when you're playing German, a, a German in Germany, it's got, always going to be tough. But um, you know, that's part of the job, I think. You know, when you don't have many major tournaments in Germany, only the European Championship. So I give all the German crowd the credit. You know, they should support everyone from Germany as they should. Uh, of course, it's not nice to to be whistled at, but uh, I think it's part of the job, and uh, we'll see how we cope with it tomorrow. Big well done. Thank you. Thank you very much.